Let's talk about a 2114 Robertsonian translocation. Short background info, a Robertsonian translocation is when the long arm of one chromosome, the Q arm, fuses with the long arm of another chromosome. So this plus this would become this. We have the Q of chromosome 14, for instance, and the Q of chromosome 21. And you would lose the P's. The P's, the P arms of a chromosome are usually uh, not very relevant. But this here is a Robertsonian translocation. Popular exam question. A male has a Robertsonian translocation of 21 and 14. What is the chance that one of his children will have Down syndrome? How do you approach such a question? Well, let me just write it down. Male with a Robertsonian translocation uh, Q21 or actually 21Q, 21Q, 14Q, chance of Down syndrome in child. So you could ask, uh, like, is that 1 and 6? Is that 1 and 2? Is that one in three? So let's take a look. How do you approach this? First thing you want to do is you want to draw the germline cells of the male. So the germline cells uh, in the testes uh, that produce sperm cells, which have not undergone, so these germline cells have not undergone meiosis, meiosis yet. These germline cells, what they have is uh, a chromosome 14, they have a chromosome 21, and uh, they have a Robertsonian translocation of 14 and 21, the Q arms. Then next thing you want to do is you want to draw meiosis to metaphase. So what does this mean? What does this mean? Meiosis metaphase. Metaphase is the phase where uh, all these chromosomes align the center of the cell right before division for them to be pulled apart. So let me just draw this out. Um, normally, in a normal cell, what you're going to have in metaphase is you're going to have chromosome, uh, we said this was chromosome 21 and this was chromosome 14. Normally, what you're going to have is chromosome 21 of mother or father, doesn't matter, chromosome 21. So this is 21, 21. On either side of the cell, you have one chromosome 21. Chromosome 14, on either side of the cell, you have one chromosome 14. And then, normally, what's going to happen is cell division occurs, and you get two daughter cells. One of those daughter cells has one chromosome 21, either from mom or dad and one chromosome 14, either from mom or dad. And the other is going to be exactly the same, either from mom or dad. And that's what's going to determine the characteristics of uh, the child, depending on which sperm cell is going to fertilize the oocyte. Now, as a result of this Robertsonian translocation, this process is going to become a little bit more strange. Let me show you. Basically, there are three possible combinations of metaphase when a father has a Robertsonian translocation in chromosome 21. Let me explain. First combination. Here's the Robertsonian translocation. Now, on the other side of this translocation, we can have either chromosome 14 or chromosome 21, but we can't have both. 
So let's say in one of these possibilities, chromosome 21 is here, means chromosome 14 is going to be here. In the other example, we can say that this is the Robertsonian translocation, chromosome, uh, this was chromosome 14 is going to be here, and chromosome 21 is going to be here. And in the final example, what you're going to have is the Robertsonian translocation is here, and both chromosome 14 and chromosome 21 are going to be here. So let's draw out the possible, uh, possible outcomes. Um, here you can have two cells. Let me just make this a little bit clearer. Two cells, two sperm cells. Let me just draw a tail. Uh, this sperm cell has uh, the Robertsonian translocation, 21Q, 14Q, and chromosome 14. And this sperm cell has chromosome 21 only. Then we have these sperm cells. One has 21Q, uh, 14Q, so the Robertsonian translocation, and 21. And this one has just 14. Here we have two sperm cells. One has chromosome of the translocation, 21Q, 14Q, and one has 21 and 14. So this is basically what's going to happen. These sperm cells are going to be uh, circulating, and when the man ejaculates in the woman, these are going to be released in equal proportions. Now, what's the chance that the child will have a Down syndrome? So Down syndrome... Uh, meaning 3 uh, chromosome 21, so trisomy 21. Um, in order to determine this, what you want to do is you want to make a cross table. Uh, so what you have is a cross table. This is the oocyte of mom. It has a 21 and a 14. It's a perfectly normal oocyte. And here we put the six combinations of dad. First combination is 21Q, 14Q, 14. Second combination is uh, 21. Just to make this a bit spacier. 14. Second combination is 21. Third combination is 21Q, 14Q. Uh, and 21. Fourth combination is 14. Fifth combination is 21Q, 14Q. And the, uh, the uh, sixth combination is 21, 14. Now, let's just see what we get when this sperm cell fuses with the oocyte we get 2 times 21 3 times 14 and then when this sperm cell fuses we get 1 times 21 sorry we get 2 times 21 and 1 times 14 So 2 times 21, 1 times 14. When this one fuses, we get 3 times 21 and 2 times 14. In this case, we get 1 times 21, 2 times 14. In this case, we get 2 times 21 and 2 times 14. And in this final case, we get 2 times 21 and 2 times 14. So what's going to be the outcome? Let me tell you. This is going to result in death. A monosomy, uh, one chromosome 14, you can't live with just one chromosome 14. This results in death. Um, you also can't live with one chromosome 21, so this results in death. Um, so... You have that. 
And you also can't live with three, three chromosome 14s. This also results in death. The only thing you can live with is either two chromosome 14s and two chromosome 21s uh, or three chromosome 21s. Now, so this results in Down syndrome because you have three chromosome 21s and two chromosome 14s. And this results in life. And the person is going to be healthy, but he is going to be a carrier of the 21Q, 14Q uh, translocation. And this one is completely healthy. So if we want to answer the question, man with Robertsonian translocation, 21Q, 14Q, chance of down, we can say this is one in six. The chance that a living child will have Down syndrome becomes one in three. And the chance of a living child that is a carrier also becomes one in three. And the chance of a healthy child becomes two in three. So Robertsonian translocation 2114 explained. Thanks for watching.